I want to share a dream that I had that I think beautifully reveals the true nature of reality. Now, I've been interested in dreams all my life, and I've been a lucid dreamer all my life. So I've learned to study dreams and really pay attention to them. Now, especially one thing that I really pay attention to is the sense of I in a dream. So I had a dream that, well, encapsulates everything into one dream. So now I can tell you the story of the dream, and it's very simple. So this man walks into this old department store. At some point, he is in the back of the store in a kind of meeting room, and he's talking to this person who is an undercover police officer. I warn him about the other person. I warn him about the undercover police officer and tell him not to talk to him. And then we stop talking and the dream ends. Or at least that's as much as I remember. The story is not so interesting. But what is interesting is the actual experience of it. So as this dream starts, there is no I. There is just the dream. So I, I am nothing, or I am everything. But there's no separation. There is just dream. As the person goes into the back room, in the meeting room, and is talking to the undercover police officer, a thought arises. Don't talk to him. You're going to get in trouble. In that thought, arises the observer of the dream, a separation. So now I am watching the dream. I am commenting on the dream. I have judgments about the theme, about the dream, and I'm separate from the dream. Now the person doesn't stop. So he's still talking to the undercover police officer. Then it changes where the I becomes a character in the dream. And I tell him to stop talking. And I warn him, the police officer goes away, and the character disappears. The I goes back into observer, into the dream. Now, I think This matches up with so many things I've heard from spiritual teachers about the true nature of reality, or the nature of experience, of the illusion illusion of the separate self. And it brings into question, again, what is the self? What is I? Who am I? Now, usually the idea of an I is, that's very simple. I have my likes, my dislikes, my preferences, my personality, my history. But in dreams, we can see that is not so important. And we can actually have the experience of separating from those. So because I I really pay attention to my dreams and I pay attention to the sense of I in a dream, I've noticed how often or what most dreams are. Now, one that doesn't happen so often, but it it still happens, is the, the one of just the dream happening. There is no I. There is just the dream. Now, at times, I I remember, at first, I would say this is the me being the director of a dream. Like, I'm just watching it. But it's not really the case. There is no sense of a watcher. Now, there can be, like I said, where that thought arises and now there's a separation. That rising of 
a thought is also the I, the beginning of the I, the separation from the rest of the dream. And that I is separate because it thinks about the dream. It separates itself from the dream. It has judgments about it, it has opinions. Even if the opinion is, wow, this is amazing, it's still separate from the dream. So that, those kinds of dreams, maybe I would put it at 20% of dreams or less. Uh, now, most dreams, I'm a character. Now, even that, though, is very interesting on how that breaks down. Now, most of the dreams, and this would be, again, I don't know, 50%, 60%, 70% of dreams are, I'm a character. And it could be this character, so it could be Chris, but it might not be. It's not clear. So I am someplace that's not connected to this world. So it could be me, or again, this, or not. Now, there are other dreams, or again, that happens often, where it is something connected to this character, so connected to Chris. There is a history there, or I'm with my parents, or I'm at my parents' home, I'm at my job, or with my family, friends. So there, it's connected to this story. So I can say it is Chris. And so, of course, in dreams, that can change too. Like that I can, it's very malleable and can change. And what's interesting is I've had a few dreams. And I can really only remember th three, four, possibly, but two clearly, where I am a completely different person. Now, one of them, I am in a office, and it's a sales department, and I'm the manager. All my thoughts are about making money and making sales. This reminded me of the movie Glengarry Glen Ross, I think. Um, the characters in there, it just always, always be closing. Sales, you know, Wall Street. Now, this is not me. But again, when I say me, this is not Chris, this character. But in the dream, that is me. I can't say, there, there, it's not Chris acting as a character or acting as that. It, no, I am that sales manager. Another dream I had. I am a woman, Asian woman, um, and I'm in a hotel room, high rise hotel. I remember looking out the window and I could see the ocean and a very big city. Now, my feeling at the time wasn't clear, but this was maybe Singapore. Um, I was there on a business trip, and I remember, now this one, I had a history of family and friends in the office. Like, I was so proud that in my office, they, they trusted me with this big business deal. Um, and it was nighttime, and I, maybe the, the meeting was the next day, and I just remember feeling very grateful. Now. <laughs> that is not this, this character, but it was me. It was not Chris playing her. It was me. Now, what these dreams show, the original dream and these, is having this sense of I as this of being I, my character, my, my preferences, my personality, my history. It's not really what's true. 
you swap out that history, put in a new history, put in new preferences, it's still me. You changed who I am completely. It's still me. But even you get rid of any person. How can I say it's still me? Well, I don't stop existing, but I do. I stop existing as I. And I just, there's just what is. Just the dream. As the dream. I think I'll finish this video talking about another experience I had in a lucid dream. And so this was, well, like I said, I've had many lucid dreams, so sometimes I will find myself lucid and I really have nothing to do. So what I do is I like to plan and say, okay, next time I'm lucid, do this. And so I started asking questions. And the one question I asked was, I wanted to, not a question, but to experience. I said, I want to experience death. So, find myself lucid, and I say, okay, I want to experience death. And so I wake up. Okay, ah, I failed. All right, well, okay. That's happened before. You know, sometimes lucid dreams are very short. Okay. So I ask again, or I plan again, next lucid dream, I'm going to ask the same question. So a few days later, I'm in the dream, I become lucid, okay, I want to experience death, and I wake up again. So for a little bit, I thought, okay, well, wow, I failed again. And then I start to think, wait, did I fail? Or did I actually experience death or what death is like? 